June 1, 2024 Memorial of Saint Justin, Martyr A reading from the letter of Jude Beloved, remember the words spoken beforehand by the Apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. Build yourselves up in your most holy faith, pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. And wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. That leads to eternal life. On those who waver, have mercy. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. On others have mercy with fear. Abhorring even the outer garment stained by the flesh. To the one who is able to keep you from stumbling. And to present you unblemished and exultant. In the presence of his glory. To the only God, our Saviour. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Be glory, majesty, power and authority. From ages past, now, and for ages to come. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Respond is, My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts. Like the earth, parched, lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary. To see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Giving thanks to God the Father through him. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said. If we say, of heavenly origin, he will say. Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say, of human origin? They feared the crowd. For they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. Saturday, 8th week in Ordinary Time. Jesus was a person of great authority. He derived his authority from his special relationship with God. He recognized the temple in Jerusalem as his father's house and that gave him the authority to cleanse the temple, disturbing the money changers and those selling pigeons. Because of what he did there, the religious leaders in this morning's gospel reading come up to him and ask him. What authority have you for acting like this? Who gave you this authority? We know the answer to that question. Jesus had the authority to do what he did because he was God's son and God was at work in and through him. That is why we take Jesus as our authority today. We recognize him as Lord of our lives. We take our lead from him. We invite him to shape our lives, to direct what we say and do. We invite his spirit into our lives and try to open ourselves to the promptings of his spirit. The Lord is our authority and we know that his is a life-giving authority, an authority that sets us free from sin. Earlier in Mark's Gospel Jesus said he had authority on earth to forgive sins. We gladly submit to the Lord's authority because it is an authority that renews us, heals us and will eventually lead us to eternal life.